Hi guys, it's Oliver here and I'm doing another video. In this video, I'm going to be seeing if, well, should you buy Halo 5 Guardians? Because I've played it quite a bit and I've sort of made up my decision and I'm just going to say why you should buy it. Well, first of all, you should buy it if you have the Xbox One, if you have the PS4. You shouldn't buy it because obviously you won't be able to play it unless you buy it with the xbox one and if you buy it with the xbox one then you're then it, take, it costs a lot more money just buy like the original xbox one with one terabyte edition than this it's a bit cheaper so yeah obviously i got it with um the luna white controller that is just there and i got it for free from agos but that might not be like f that for you but so yeah at the front if you look here it says halo 5 guardians xbox one exclusive xbox one and it is rated 16. it's by made by 343 industries and microsoft studios so two good um game makers and you'll probably know that the graphics will be very good as it is made i think no yeah after forza 5 and that game had just brilliant uh, um graphics forza 6 is even better graphics and i've got forza 6 not forza 5 but forza 6 who cares because yeah we're not talking about forza 5 or 6 are we we're talking about halo 5 so yeah so there is all an all there is an all new um campaign. I c I don't really know what it's about. I haven't really watched the cutscenes. I just play play it. Um, you shoot. There's a load of new like monsters and stuff. I don't know if they're in Halo Four because I haven't played the campaign on that because I haven't got it. So yeah, it's got a lot more like aliens and Halo Three and Halo Four. What I've played. But it still has the original Alien sort of, but it's more like the new modern electronic aliens. I'm going to see if they're in the back. No, they're not in, it didn't show you in the back, but still, it's quite good. Um, they're, you, you're going to get challenged, even if you're on easy, so if you rage quit a lot, that like me, it's probably not the best for campaign, because they always kill you. So... Yeah, that's why I play multiplayer. Yay. <laughs> so, in the multiplayer, there's Warzone. And, basically, you have to capture... It's technically capture the flag, but the buildings, and you have to get to a 1,000 points. There. And, you you know, there's, like, just the average team deathmatch and all that sort of stuff. So, it's technically just, um like, the normal Call of Duty ones. So, yeah. Um... There's a new reward system, looking at the back, where, say, if you open up a box, it's technically the Black Ops 3 care package, but with, on Halo and different weapons, and there is a couple, yeah, it'll give you, like, X different types of weapons and all that sort of stuff, so I keep on opening it up, but whatever. So if we open up, it comes with a couple of cards, comes with the Halo 5 exclusive xbox one um controllers these ones i like i've held and seen in real life this one haven't seen this one in real life but whatever and the two astros i shall i shall wish i had astros they are so comfortable and these just make them look awesome really cool <clears throat> just awesome and it gives you 14 day xbox live trial that's not too good or whatever. 14 days. So you can play online. <coughs> Sorry, I still have a cough from the video from like the video yesterday. I came from East I came back from East Bambi yesterday. I forgot to mention that in the old video. So yeah. The disc the I thought I had it the right way around. The disc looks like this. It's cool disc, it has two i think it's um master chief and someone else and it says just 
a, a usual disc and the back and um, I bought my new so it won't have anything wrong with it something just happened oh Team Fortress 2 just came on sorry guys Team Fortress 2 came on so yeah I'm sorry so yeah this is the case and is and the gameplay isn't the smoothest thing in the, the smoothest like gameplay in the world because even on the campaign it sometimes lags a bit and even even if you're not in multiplayer i don't want to play team fortress 2 so yeah hope you enjoyed this video no i really hope you enjoy the game if you get it um but like if you have the game already you'll probably know what it, what i mean unless it's only for me if you have the game say in the description if it's a bit laggy for you usually just want to know and for the final thing let's look we're gonna look at whether you should buy it like just out of my opinion then i'll do like like opinion like what your opinion would be so obviously it's a 16 so not everyone will be allowed to play it so that take that into account if you're allowed to play some 16s then you might be able to play it so yeah that so that might stop you from being able to buy it but if you are allowed to play 16s i'd really recommend this game because it's good gameplay brilliant graphics and overall just brilliant still um they haven't ruined any guns they've put in a couple more guns i think and made it like a lot better brilliant graphics like we've already said so remember so i hope this is i hope this has made your mind up so i hope you've made your mind up from this video say if you've got the game or if you're probably going to get it and say if this has helped you made your mind make your mind up and i wouldn't really recommend just getting the xbox one for this game because it's not that great and then but it's still really good you don't want to spend like 300 quid just for halo 5 you want to spend 300 quid on the xbox one halo 5 titanfall forza and just most of the exclusives the connect that's why you would want to buy the xbox one not just because of halo 5 so remember if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe for a whole lot more videos peace out